Let's be honest. Either party would nominate someone for the Supreme Court and confirm them if they could. It doesn't matter if it's an election year. In my last video, while the white working class support Trump, I explained that a lot of white Trump voters support him because they support the Constitution. And this couldn't be made any more obvious than by what we're seeing with the Democrats freaking out over Justice Ginsburg's newly vacated seat. The reason the Democrats don't want Trump to fill this seat is because they want an activist judge seated. And Trump is going to nominate someone who wants to uphold the Constitution as it was written. He's going to nominate an originalist. In 2016, when a Supreme Court seat opened up, Mitch McConnell refused to have a vote for Obama's nominee. And he did it to make it a campaign issue. Did you want a justice who was going to stick to the Constitution or a justice who was going to interpret it through their own beliefs? That ended up being the number one issue for a lot of Trump voters. And Trump won. You see, if both sides believed in the Constitution, it wouldn't matter which party a president belongs to when it comes to judicial nominations. But that's not the case, is it? And that's why the Democrats are ruthless over this issue. According to Wikipedia, quote, In the context of United States law, originalism is a concept regarding the interpretation of the Constitution that asserts that all statements in the Constitution must be interpreted based on the original understanding of the authors or the people at the time it was ratified. This concept views the Constitution as stable from the time of enactment and that the meaning of its contents can be changed only by the steps set out in Article 5. This notion stands in contrast to the concept of the living Constitution, which asserts that the Constitution should be interpreted based on the context of the current times, even if such interpretation is different from the original interpretations of the document. Most Democrats believe that the Constitution is old and outdated. If they didn't, they would be fine with Trump picking one of the 40 people from his list of nominees. But they're not because they want an activist judge. They need someone who will change the meaning of the Constitution to fit what Democrats want our country to be. An activist judge does not care about the Constitution as it was written. Think about it. The only way that Democrats and Republicans could not generally agree on a Supreme Court nominee is if one party doesn't want a justice who will uphold the Constitution. And that party is the Democrats. Trump's nominee list is made up of people who, for the most part, are originalists. And that's why Democrats are freaking out. And that's why it's vitally important for Trump to get a nominee confirmed before this election, to protect the Constitution. As we've talked about on this channel many times, for Democrats, everything is political. And they want to create a Supreme Court that is a political arm of their party. Some of the former Democratic presidential candidates this year have even advocated for packing the courts with activist judges. Senator Elizabeth Warren said adding justices to the Supreme Court deserves consideration, as does bringing appellate judges into Supreme Court cases. Why does she want to expand the Supreme Court? Quote, it's not just about expansion, it's about depoliticizing the Supreme Court. Unquote. That's rich, isn't it? She says packing the Supreme Court with Democrat-approved judges would depoliticize it? She only says that because she knows that the majority of Americans don't want the Supreme Court to legislate from the bench. So she does what Democrats do. She accuses the opposition of what they themselves are guilty of. She wants to politicize the Supreme Court with liberal activist judges. And if that doesn't bother you, then you don't care about the freedoms and the rights we have that are protected by the Constitution. It's sad that we have to differentiate between judges by saying some will interpret the Constitution as it was written. I mean, should there be any other way of interpreting it? If you're not going to go by what's written, you're just making it up. And if you're not going to go by what the writers meant and the framers framed, then there may as well not even be a constitution. And that's really what the Democrats want. They want to stop Trump from getting another Supreme Court justice confirmed because they want the power of the courts used for their political agenda. And if they have to, they will pack the courts to get that power. They don't want Trump to fill this seat with an originalist because they hate the constitution. And that's the simple truth. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a supporting member of Blue Collar Logic, click on the link in the description and give what you can.